Normally it would be full this time of year. Usually there's 150 new Buicks, Nissans and Hyundai scattered along with scores of used cars at the Sid Dillon lot in Lincoln. General Manager Nick Hunky says now he has fewer than 10 new models and a couple are already sold. I've been doing it for 20 years and it's something I've never seen before. We've heard about this pandemic problem before. A shortage in microchip processors needed in new cars. That and increased demand is pulling the supply chain on both ends. Hunky says they're selling most of their new cars before they even hit the lot. And even those customers have to wait. Some of them are two weeks, some of them are two months. And some people have waited longer. It's all driving up demand on the used car market. Pricing on used is higher than I've ever seen. The demand has basically shifted from new down to used, and um, there's a shortage now of used cars. Jennifer Ryan is the chair of the Supply Chain Management and Analytic Department at UNL's Business College. She says it may take until the middle of next year to ease the pressure. You're not going to have the same level of choices, and you're going to be paying more. That That's what Rich Aus found. We did many tours around the city tours to other small cities and nobody had any stock of newer vehicles that we could lease. So he and his wife decided to buy out the lease on their 2018 Dodge Charger, which he says could turn out to be a good deal. Compared to what we paid for it after the lease and in the Kelly Blue Book value, we could make money if we decided to sell it right now. But we don't have that option because we need this second car. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.